Okay, we're going to do a little update here. Uh, getting ready to strip everything out and get ready for paint. I know that's not nice. Some people do it, but it's easier for me just to pre-build everything, take it all apart, paint it, and reassembly goes pretty quick. But got all the cabinet doors and drawers, faces, and everything put on. Uh, she's got a little pantry up here. And I do have the corner pieces to go in there. I already made all soft closed uh, cabinet doors, soft closed drawers. So I do have her uh, Dometic refrigerator. It's on a set of dual slides, and that's a that's a big refrigerator. I think that is the. Uh, 75 I believe that's what that is so you know that's not a not a small one and I run two drawer slides on each side and then you get these little latches here so whenever it goes in and closes you know it uh, it latches in so you don't have to worry about it coming out and then down here There's a nice big drawer that's about eight inches deep. And then she wanted to pull out table. Uh, there will be no seating in this van. She has her own chair that she plans on sitting here. And then she wanted this area here for, uh, I can't remember if she's got a Berkey or some kind of taller storage cabinet or storage area, or hanger coats or whatever, but that's how she wanted it. So, and then down here under the camp shelf, there's also a little pots and pan drawer. And then under the sink, so she can access it from the inside and then it also has a door to where she can uh, put her water jugs and gray water jug in and out from the outside so she don't have to fight it from in here. Sorry about that. And then we've also got uh, you know all the upper cabinets here that'll be going in getting uh, gas struts on and then usually I don't cut the uh, max air fans in until after I'm paint paint is done I mean I've already got them framed out so it's just a matter of cutting and wiring so it's no big deal so let's take you to the back side here okay as you can see back here she has a large storage area. And then this little cabinet is her 20-pound uh, propane tank. Whenever that goes back in after painting, it will be uh, sealed around the floor and the wall. And it'll have a uh, vent down through the floor so any gas that leaks out can exit the van. And there will be a rubber seal gasket all the way around the outside of this door. Now, right now I've just got this screw here to set the spacing for the latch. All she has to do is bring that around. And then once that rubber seal's in there, that'll be a nice little latch. And then, as always, these, these pieces here. I've got one screw here on this one, one around here, and one at the top. And that whole thing will come out so you can easily uh, get to the light bulbs and the brake lights and change them out. Same with this side. There's one screw there. There's one just behind the edge of the bed there. There's an anchor point. And then... There's one all the way up top up there. And then also 
that corner piece there uh, is removable because the wires that'll be for the refrigerator and uh, there's also going to be a plug-in right there on the end of that cabinet so all that wiring will be ran up there all the in behind the cabinet that way uh, you know it can be easy accessible or added to later so I try not to run too much you know behind the walls that's not accessible just because you know out here on the road things happen you may want to add extra to it later you may want to upgrade or whatever and it's easier to uh, to do that than you know a lot of people when they upgrade they're gonna either put it on the outside of the walls or whatever so I try to hide as much of it like that all right let's get this all stripped out and I'll be back all right we end up getting everything out and got everything ready to paint got it painted yesterday afternoon and uh, we let it set today all day just to give it a good cure time and uh, now we go through the tedious process of getting there with all the wiring done while the cabinets are being uh, painted and then start putting it all back together now's whenever the the time is where you you put a lot of work into it a lot of work a lot of work it doesn't seem like anything's getting done then all of a sudden it's it's finished so that's what it looks like it's all white i think it'll be a nice uh contrast once we get get the uh dark floors it's a uh, black walnut floor that's going in here the countertops and the divider door going into the uh, cab area will be stained a uh, ebony and so that'll be a nice contrast to all the the white that's in here and along with uh, you know the black stove and the black sink and faucet so I think it'll look pretty nice once it's all finished. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw this video together and get it put up. Like always, I appreciate uh, anybody that watches any of my videos. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know if there's anything uh, in particular that you want to see. I do have a project that... Uh, that I bought, which is a motorhome, that I'm going to be stripping down to the frame and building a uh, little tiny cabin on the back of it. So that'll be a series coming up. So look for, for that one. I've also had a request for a Max Air install video. So the next job, not this one. But the next job that comes in that gets a Max Air fan, I don't know how long of a video it'll be, but I'm going to do a real time from start to finish video on installing a Max Air fan. Show you all the steps that I go through doing it by myself. You know, so if you're interested in that, just look forward to that video too. Uh, I am located in southern Indiana if you need any help with your uh, your conversion whether it be a bus a van you know, gypsy wagon whatever you can always find me on uh, Instagram and Facebook all under Reds Custom Design same as my website RedsCustomDesign.com so I thank you I'd appreciate everyone that watches